Case studies are just case studies. I think that any time that we can give students a curriculum that requires them to, to, to solve problems that are in their local community, I think that that's when they, they truly make a connection to it. Real world, beyond school, not just here, beyond school. What do you got? What do you see? What are you working with? What do you have a passion about? What do you see out there that needs to be fixed? So by being able to design your own curriculum to involve what the students are going to see when they leave school as opposed to a curriculum that's a canned curriculum that doesn't involve that has made a great difference. Real world problems, um, I feel like this very unit we're currently covering, uh, bioinformatics used to uh, identify pathogens and infectious agents. Uh, it's very real right now because of the, the times we're living in, uh, middle of a pandemic. Um, and so it it, um, it lets the kids see what is currently happening in labs right now across the nation. Bioinformatics labs, uh, epidemiologists, what are they doing? They're doing a little bit of epi epidemiology uh, as well. There's biology in those problems. There's mathematics in those problems. There are social sciences in those problems. Um, there's no shortage of problems, unfortunately. You know, um, so it's really an unlimited source for us, right? Like we, we're we're educating kids to to have skill sets that hopefully will be able to to really think their way, um, you know, through the the solutions to some of these these issues. That's that's our job. Like that's what we that's what we need to do. Like that's what we should be preparing kids to do. You know, they're gonna they're gonna these problems are gonna fall to them, um, and they're not ever gonna go away. So they're going to change and adapt, and um, we need to make sure they're ready for that.